now. Britain's leading business groups are calling for the government to scrap the term chairman, urging the use of the neutral term chair instead. Joining me to discuss this is Dr Roger Barker, Director of Policy at the Institute of Directors. Hello there. Good to see you. Thank you uh, for oh, joining you us. Uh, before we get to the campaign that you're launching uh, today, can I just ask you about what Andrea Leadsom said there in that interview? Flexible working is good for the employer and good for getting women back to the workplace. Do you think your members recognise that? I think they do recognise that. Um, I think many of them, of course, have, have embraced flexible working during the pandemic and they're going to continue that. And we surveyed our members on this issue and uh, the majority of them are actually going to keep flexible or hybrid type working indefinitely on a permanent basis, e even beyond the pandemic. So there are real advantages to it. I mean, it depends, of course, a lot on the specific circumstances of a company. Um, some can deal with it better than others. But I, I would say in the majority of cases, hybrid working is here to stay. Now, let's talk about the uh, campaign that you and other leading business groups are launching today. You want to drop the use of the word chairman. Why? Well, it's in a very specific context, and that is in the model articles of association of companies. So these are documents that form the constitution of a company. Every company has to have them. And when you register your company at a company's house, you will generally use the model articles of association which are provided by, by company's house. And they are currently using the term um, chairman um, throughout uh, this constitution. And we feel that, you know, they really should now move with the times. Most women don't want to be called chairman. They find the use of the term chairperson or chairwoman rather unwieldy. Most of our members feel that the right term for this role, role is chair. It's gender neutral. Um, this change has been made in other important governance document, important government governance documents like the UK Corporate Governance Code. So we don't see why it shouldn't be changed also in these model articles of association. The business secretary is reportedly opposed to what you're suggesting because changing the law on this would be too time consuming. How are you going to convince him? Well, I don't think it would be time convincing. Um, it's a very small change to legislation. It could, for example, be inserted into forthcoming legislation, which is which the government is due to bring forward very soon around corporate governance and audit. Um, so, th so that change could be easily made. The model articles of association have been changed in the past to reflect other things, to reflect uh, mental health discrimination. So, I think you know this would be an easy win for the government. And 78% of our members um, support making this change. So, so an easy, low-hanging fruit for the government. Don't you think it's more important, because these companies' house documents are, are, qu are quite hidden to most of us, isn't it more important to persuade your members and ask them to change how they address the chairman, <laughs> person, in meetings and insist that they use the word chair in those meetings? I'm sure there are lots of board meetings that still address the person chairing the meeting as the chairman, regardless of their gender? Yes, I mean, we would very much encourage um, our members to do that. And, you know, we've made changes to our own job titles within the IOD itself. Um, you know, really, it's time to use gender, gender neutral language around these type of things. So we would, we would encourage that. And finally, some would argue it would be a better use of your time to address the fact that as few as 8% of chief executives in the FTSE 100 are women. Isn't that the real battle? That is a big battle. And also a similar percentage are our company chairs as well. So that's, that's another big battleground. Um, there's a lot of work to be done. And th this is actually this is a small change. But we think it's symbolically an important change. So, you know, we want to fight this battle on many fronts. And, you know, leaving the chairman in this document, um, as, you know, symbolically, it's sending all the wrong signals in terms of inclusion and what we're trying to achieve. You know, we want directorship to be open to anyone. And language is important. And we don't want to send these unconscious signals to women that somehow directorship or chairmanship is not for them. 
Really enjoyed our conversation, uh, Dr. Roger Barker from the Institute of Directors. Thank you for your time.